So this is the first look at the Flowbot inventory module and this is the beta version. Um, I'm just going to go through this and make some comments on it. A lot of these things are probably going to change, um, I imagine anyway, but I'm going to just give you my feedback on it. it I think it will be easier to do it on a video than it is to do it on a long email or <coughs> another document, etc. So uh, I've logged in. Here's the dashboard. Um, you know, first comment on it. I think it looks great. I really like the font. Um, I like the colors. I like the layout. I think it looks really modern and fresh. Um, so that's great. Uh, the dashboard, I think so far so good, but let me have a quick look in a minute. I can see when these orders are coming and I can click them type of carpet it is in transit not completed so we need to just work out what's going on with this I think my first comment on this is um, I think where we have this large search bar here you know about the spelling mistake um, I think this should be concertinaed uh, from the from the off so it does have a concertina, which is really cool, but I think by default it should look like this. And maybe, yeah, I think that it should look like that, that's fine. Um, and the add button, I think we need to put something a little bit bigger, like add incoming product or something like that. And secondly, I think that this add incoming product should probably go on underneath the dashboard. So dashboard and then add incoming products product and then incoming product and so on and so forth you probably leave a button here for it as well but i think for the workflow it just seems logical that you open up and you think what am i going to do and the first thing you're probably going to do is add an incoming product i know that will change slightly if it is linked to the flowbot ap but this is a standalone system as well so i think that would help with the workflow so I'm going to go through uh, and add one. I think I mentioned this before. I'm not sure how easy it is to do, uh, but this is a, you know, for want of a better word, a ball ache, quite frankly. You know, typing in um, dates like that without a little mini calendar, which could pop out here. You know, it's just a, it's just a complete nuisance, isn't it? So if we can make a pop out calendar, I think everyone would appreciate it. Product type role, fine dimensions four meters by five meters that's cool supplier order number yeah our reference number probably an mtx number cool could choose a file if i wanted let's do it just to see if it works uh location in transit number of items one and here's our special one that's created, submit. Okay. So here's the one we created. It's at the top, which is good. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay. Um, I think maybe we want to have some of these clickable. So if you have a, an order date or probably most likely an experience, expected delivery date if you can order it by the the one that you're expecting soonest that would probably be quite neat uh let's have a look incoming products lost <coughs> mm, i don't really know what this is about And there's no explanation on here. Um, incoming has one M, by the way. Uh, so 
Mm, okay. I think somewhere along here, we probably want to put some help files eventually. So link to the website with the videos that, you know, I or Sarah will make. Um, and probably just a little rollover somewhere incoming product loss with an eye on it that kind of explains what this is because, you know, uh, I'm pretty smart, I think. And, you know, I know all about this industry and I've got no bloody idea what that does. So um, I think that needs to change. OK, so API orders. Doesn't look like it's working at the minute, fair enough. Pending orders. Let's have a look, pending orders. Yeah, do you know what I also think? We should probably have a page down here. Um, with a help file on it. And I think just as Sarah suggested when she uh, wrote that little um, that document about improvements, I think we should have a, a list of the workflow and, and exactly what these these uh, these headings mean. Um, that would be helpful. So let's have a look what this is. Order note, nothing. View items. OK. Order note. OK. Pending items, action, view, some of your supplier sheet. Oh, this looks interesting. Complete this item. Okay, so we're going to need some sort of test here on that. Completed orders. Yeah, exactly what Sarah said. Completed orders and finished orders. You know, they look like the same thing to me. They certainly sound like the same thing. So. Um, I think we need to do something with that. Locations, okay. Uh, locations, well, I think uh, we definitely want to be able to just click in here and see exactly what we've got in each location. Um, that's, that's, you know, that's for sure. We want to see that, uh, a list of all the items that are in that location. We, we absolutely need to have that one. Um, and it should probably be in transit staging area, then the locations and finally complete. Mm, no, no, actually keep it where it is because you might have like 50 of these. So in transit staging are complete. And then we need a link here that tells us. Uh, exactly what is in each individual location and probably on here as well in a concertina form. Uh, let's have a look. Manufacturers. Manufacturers. Okay. Add. That fit seems fairly straightforward. Enter. Manufacturer name, so obviously enter location name wrong is is, is not right. So I'm just going to put Antico in there. Carpet. Uh, I'll put Antico tiles. Submit. That's a manufacturer. Manufacturer's type. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see how this works. Final tile. Okay. Yep, okay. Um, products. 
add a product. Tinker. Again, I think we need to have some little eyes over some of the stuff that isn't obvious. Obviously, these are notification. I think we need to have an eye over it um, to tell us what we're actually enabling and disabling there. Users, cool, and then Flowbot API settings. Mm, looks quite nice. Not entirely sure what we're going to do with that one yet, but <clears throat> I know that you guys know. Now, there's one other thing actually that uh, Sarah pointed out, which which is going to be essential. Imagine um, we have one of these products that's incoming. I don't know whether this is going to be the products lost or whatever that means, but uh, you know, if we don't want it, we're going to reject it because either it's broken or it's damaged or something like that. We need to have a mechanism to send that back. So I can't see what. That is going we're going to do with that at the minute we've got some incoming products here hmm Yeah, before we had a little better flow than this, because I don't really know what you're supposed to do with these. It, you know, we put an incoming product in, absolutely fine. Um, so we know it's coming in, we know what date it's coming in and so on and so forth. But what do we actually do when it gets here? I mean, I'm using this without the, uh, the app, so I'm not necessarily scanning it. But if I wanted to do it manually, I was able to do that on the last version of it. What do I do? And what are all these little eyes here you know pending order basically i want to change the status of it to you know accepted and then put it into the locations and so on and so forth and i need a list of the items to do that so this needs a little bit of work and uh, i think we should have a discussion on it if it's not clear about where we need to uh, make the improvements okay that's the end of this video for the minute